Welcome back. It's another wonderful day down at the Yacht Club, getting things done. So, bring up to speed. I uh, took the opportunity to apply some penetrating epoxy to the cap rails. The reason why I did that is because the the S pieces that I want to put on, I'm going to put some bedding compound on underneath them. And when I did a little bit of reading up on the kind of bedding compound I'm using, it's made basically of linseed oil plus other ad additives. And teak is an oily wood. Once it gets old and dries out, it will absorb oil from whatever it's up against, meaning it'll suck the linseed oil out of the bedding compound, making the bedding compound less than what it should be. So I sealed the teak so that it wouldn't suck up oil. But I thought if I'm doing those two pieces, the S pieces, might as well do all of them. So I did all of them. And uh, they are currently they're currently cured, cured <clears throat> ready to go back on, but they won't be going back on for a while yet. I still got to get uh, other stuff done on the deck. Um, the other news is that the rudder cheeks are looking good. Come and have a look. So there's the rudder cheeks. I sanded them down. Um, re-epoxied them and they turned out very nice welcome back it's another wonderful day on the west coast the sun's shining and it's time to get busy not that i haven't been busy i've actually got quite a bit done uh, let me show you these are the s pieces that go down the bulwark and i was going to put them on yesterday but when i read the information about the compound bedding that i'm going to use i learned that it is comprised mainly of linseed oil and Teak has a wonderful property of soaking up oil because it's a very oily wood. So I put penetrating epoxy on the underside so that it wouldn't do that. And while I was doing that, I thought, why not do the rest? So I put penetrating epoxy on all of the cap rails. So the undersides of all the cap rails are uh, treated with, I even managed to get a coat of epoxy on a couple of pieces of, of cap rail. So they're done. My my order of work this evening is to put the S piece of the cap rail back on so I can put the boomkin on. And I was going to put the rudder cheeks on, but while I was filming this, I noticed that this piece in particular, I was very careful last night when I put epoxy on here to make sure that it uh, didn't run, but it did run. So now I've got little hard drips all the way down the backside. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand, sand these down just just on the edges where the drips are and around the holes. And I'm going to put them on anyway. And then I will re-epoxy them once they're on the boat. That's a little job that can wait for another day. And I'm going to put these guys on. But I've also decided to take, this is the port side in the aft, the stern. I'm going to take the starboard side off. Uh, I haven't done that before now because I, I put a big gob of 4200 underneath just Part right here because that's where a um, piece of hardware goes and I won't be able to seal it up after the fact right I've got to drill holes and I won't be able to put um, doodle tape underneath it so I thought I would be preemptive and put down 4200 which I did I put a big gob of it right here on the other piece and 4200 is an adhesive so taking the screws out is one thing getting it off the boat is another but then I remembered I have a sawzall so I'm hoping that I can saws all the other piece off and I will uh, re-bed it like this one. So a little bit of work to do. So I need to get busy. Enough yammering on and get to work.
didn't get as far as I had hoped. I wanted to get the uh, cap rail sections on and the rudder cheeks, but it's getting to be uh, sunset and eh, time to go home. I've got the cap rails on, but not the rudder cheeks. So I'm going to hit the rudder cheeks with a little bit of epoxy before I leave. And that will be the end of the day. But it's one step closer to completion. It means I can now put my boomkin and bowsprit on. That's very exciting. So as always, fair winds, following seas, and God bless.